Hello everyone, in this video tonight we will do a reading, a Celtic Cross reading about the month of March or you can say two to three weeks and we'll have a look at what's happening in your life, what are the energies, what about your family, money, health and things like that. So if you'd like to participate, well this reading is for you. Yeah, it's about to see where you stand right now, energetically, what is happening, how you're feeling, to sort of look at your life from the side and uh, perhaps uh, gain some insight. So, if you'd like to participate, please think of uh, what you would like to know right now and choose a deck and we'll have a look. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one, Tarot of the Old Path. So, what's your energy right now? Where you are right now with your thoughts, feelings? Oops. The Emperor card wants to be opened. It can be the fact that you're very concerned with responsibilities. And this card also wants to be opened. Ace of Rods, King of Rods. <clears throat> it's like very active uh, masculine energy. Uh, sort of like uh, when you're starting a project and you really need to get going. You need to achieve something. You need to do very well at work, job, um, some place. So these cards usually show that you're taking things in your own hands and you're very knowledgeable. You have to be strong and you're, you know, you're going straight ahead <clears throat> with those plans. Uh, you know, so it can be like you are this emperor, you are embodying that energy and you're very, very strong right now. Uh, if you know you feel that it's not you for example it's not you let's say you're not um like you're not taking many responsibilities right now you're not having hundreds of things to do you don't have to be strong you know uh, like that personality who takes care take uh, take cares takes care of everything and everyone it can be that a sort of a male figure is present in your life right now maybe it's your husband partner uh, someone a uh, father for example uh, with whom you live or who is relevant right now so this sort of thing is there in your life now what is the biggest issue right now what's the biggest challenge so we have the temperance well you know the guide in this particular deck um, and with this card we, we have um, it can be again look at that man lifting a woman well you can see it differently but I see it as a burden I see that she's heavy you know she's heavy and it's very hard to pick her up so for me again it's kind of confirming this responsibilities and burdens and um, and sort of you know like she's not doing thing anything and it, she can represent the other people she can represent the situations uh, that need to be taken care of that are not doing anything it's like one-sided also as a temperance you know this card it's also talks about like balance and uh, slowing down and moderation so it can be that this is too strong this is too much you know it has to be slowed down it's very hard for you to keep balance in this whole uh, situation you just want to keep going and keep doing and it's very hard to for you to slow down or have a balance between for example work and family you know or leisure and work or, or you know uh, let's see some sort of aggressive violent energies and some sort of like uh karma energies so it can basically balance is the issue it's important to keep the balance right now now 
let us have a look at what are your thoughts about all of this what are your thoughts about all of this we have the magician well you think you can do everything you've got this you you absolutely um, have enough knowledge you, you, you to deal with this you know how to deal with this and you're pretty confident and i think yeah that might help if you're feeling confident then things are more likely to go according to the plan uh, rather than not so what's coming from the past where it's all coming from the high priest we have tradition we have tradition uh, morality deep some sort of inborn principles of what is right and wrong what to do what not to do maybe some sort of elders advice maybe bringing maybe um, you're not aware of this but uh, you're not doing as a person personal choice but you might be doing as driven by some sort of higher beliefs it can be traditional beliefs for example you have these duties to do or um a spiritual belief that you have you've got this work to do lots of major arcana as we see here very leadership or government higher type of uh some sort of cards so you know it can be that it's ingrained in you can be passed down through ancestors for you you know your family your elders they might have taught you to to be like this or your inspiration might be somewhere there some sort of higher principles but it's a bit it can be wisdom but it can be also tradition like society what they dictate what they want from you you at this point you're not thinking at this point you're just uh, doing because you think everyone has to do it okay so let's see what just happened events that just passed recently we have seven of cauldrons we, we might have a party we have might have a bit of fun we might have like friends and meeting with people eating drinking having parties um watching movies um going to exhibitions enjoying art you know maybe being a bit relaxed and not focusing on things and now you're kind of focusing on things it can be also that you were active mentally you were planning and having ideas what you're gonna do in the future and now you're acting so it's visualizing and now it's doing you also might have chosen among the options you know which path to take and you know how to go about things so this card kind of shows us that what will happen in the future recent future three weeks or so six of cauldrons again maybe meeting people um missing the old times or having a great time with family and friends and you know children and that sort of um a pretty good card maybe meeting people from the past you know some sort of unity re reuniting with people having a good time and overall very cozy very good feeling so um you're backed up by pleasure too um it's not completely um you know responsibility and work that sort of thing also can indicate love and a reconciliation with anyone from the past and you know um anything positive you know coming from the past so what do you think about uh yourself right now how do you evaluate yourself doing all this yes of pentacles again you're you're kind of you're looking at it as some sort of new opportunity as something new that you haven't done before and you don't think about yourself that much but you're thinking about this plan these plans and um, what needs to be done you might see yourself as a pra very practically like you need to achieve some sort of result and there might be an element of uh, new things new paths opening of a new path and getting into absolutely unknown territory but there's a bit of an excitement and um acceptance also about this 
uh, overall you s you look at yourself pretty positively there is some sort of enthusiast like excitement about financial parts maybe excitement about some sort of result about some sort of license diploma certificate being um, received you know so maybe it's all maybe you're working for education maybe you're trying to pass exams maybe you're trying to um, get some work done or write a book and this is the result this is the so to say what will it bring those new things that after doing this what will you get how do others see you right now and to show people surrounding you three of swords other people uh, seem to be uh, a, a bit upset there might be a bit of irritation going a bit of fights arguments you know and everyone is on the edge so this card might um, see that people see you pretty tense and pretty uh, easily um, irritated and uh, like someone who is not happy and uh, maybe someone who would get into like um, would be a bit on the edge and a bit they have to walk on eggshells being around you so they might see that you're really not very happy about the situation right now and there might be some arguments with the people around the closest people around you what are the hopes and fears in the situation what do you hope or what do you fear right now well the world is most likely it's achievement uh, whether you'll be able to achieve certain things or not whether you'll get what you want or not and also it can talk about travel so maybe if travel is involved you might be a bit worried about that maybe there's a distance like something is very far away and you don't want to do it now what's the outcome and we have this card that came out four of pentacles uh, four of pentacles is a good card financially a good card when we want to have things uh, but it can be a bit inflexible in a way that um, we might get what we want if you want to have something you'll have it but it may be a bit of like fear to invest too much fear to initiate too much so it might be that fear will prevail in this particular thing but if you're trying to buy something or get something like a paper certificate or a job done you most likely will achieve that but there's lots of caution involved there's lots of caution if uh, this requires you to take any risk for example uh, invest financially you probably will not do that so you know that there's a little bit of limits of what can you do for this project and what you cannot do so there is all, a lot of vigilant vigilance and carefulness going which might be you know even too much sometimes okay so that was our reading now let's have a look what is advice for you this month three of pentacles well it talks again about um you know focusing on the work um uh, working with the team not working alone um it's just a good time for completing the projects and great working situation better not to party and uh, work this particular month so um it can be a good idea to use other people's advice you know and it says that you have a lot of skills and you're very intelligent and basically your hard work must pay off so i promise to also ask about particularly separately about your family love and financial situation also health this month so <clears throat> your family okay we have the queen of swords we have a female in the family that might be a bit controlling that might be a bit um talking like what she thinks no bs 
she might you might see her as a bit tough and rough and you might be afraid of her sometimes so she can be an all older than you or she can be just very unemotional and mental so to say very air personality so yeah there is a particular intelligent female in your home and now what about her king of pentacles illusion and and there are things that um let's see either you're worried about the situation with your family and let's see people in the family there are some issues with work maybe unrealistic expectations regarding money work you know maybe this particular person this female is like full of fantasies and illusions she, uh, like they're not realistic um because we have illusions near king of pentacles so there is some sort of maybe a uh, lack of tuning let's say with someone now let's have a look at your love life empress it can represent a good family life uh, being in a, in a pair with someone uh, being married with someone and there is um, shows a good love life um, someone loving you you being with someone can be marriage can be like in a relationship type of status active relationship and at the moment it's going well uh, the person likes you and the person loves you so that sort of situation um, so maybe you're happy within your current relationship now to look at money and career this month we have a bit of fear some sort of stagnation worry about money and but also enjoying money and buying things doing shopping a bit of a selfish lavish not selfish but lavish luxurious there are things that you maybe spend money on that you could save so there is a bit of a maybe overeating over drinking spending too much on food you know maybe uh, so maybe you're worried about money from the other side you're spending money and maybe that could be decreased so that you know you contradict yourself you might be crying about money and worrying about it but from the other side you live as if you're not worrying about it which is not good okay and what about health your health we have justice we have eight of rods and we have nine of rods we have lots of tension we have lots of stress uh, justice can indicate uh, visiting doctors uh, uh, regularly, some sort of issues that you have receipts for that, you have papers from doctors, but, um, you know, and uh, there might be issues with some part of your body, which is caused by stress and tension, as if you do not let yourself to relax completely not even for five minutes so this keep like you keep going and you keep going and you keep pushing and you keep pushing uh, this is uh, counterproductive for your health so it would be better to just relax and let it heal that tension doesn't let that organ or that body part heal so these cards would um help like these cards are just telling to not be so tense you know it's like oh you know that sort of situation and uh, like the, the belief maybe that the more I push the better I get or something so in reality what to do with your health it, it shows you know first of all it shows uh, like abandoning something not doing things that are very being a bit selfish, taking some time for yourself, doing some yoga contortion or some hanging exercises, stretching, and as well maybe um, something with heights uh, where you can hang or lift something upwards. So, you know, that sort of situation. Maybe with someone else, like in a controlled environment. 
uh, but put some attention to yoga and things like that. Uh, give some attention, I mean. So this was our reading about your month of March. Now let's move on to our deck number two. And have a wonderful March. I hope you have a good March. So this is our deck number two. Um, and what's the name? <laughs> the modern spellcaster star, right? The modern spellcaster star. I throw the bags, the the boxes, so I can't forget the names of decks. Okay, we're reading, we're doing Cult Cross, we're reading about your current life, um, how you feel, what's happening, what will happen, and things like that. So first, let's ask about your energy, your, you know, what's happening right now. So current energy, Six of Wands, it's like very successful i uh, feel like people like you uh, you feel like there's lots of approval of whatever you're doing maybe you have followers fans um you know maybe like a leader of the group maybe people in your neighborhood get have a good opinion about you maybe you have lots of friends or maybe you just feel liked and popular right now like um slightly victorious like you've achieved something like um so you know so that sort of uh, feeling and that achievement is more often comes as others think better about you than you think about yourself so you might not think it's a big deal but other people might think it's a big deal you know so, or you might think you're kind of average person, but other people might think you're a wonderful person. So, this card might come. Okay. Maybe it's also performing on a stage or something, like singer. <coughs> Sorry. So, because we have that in visually. What's the biggest challenge right now? seven of cups well seven of cups you know it can be many things here it can be first of all it can be lots of dreams you know like you have lots of wishes and dreams which might be unrealistic you know like illusionary thinking and it's kind of not very grounded and things like that and uh, you might Will want to be the best singer in the world if you're a singer or someone and that may be unrealistic um so this card might come up this card might come up also when let's say you're dreaming too much you know we're a dreamer dreamer maybe uh, so you're kind of not here and now again this card might come up if you have uh, like alcohol addictions or anything like that so it can be like a physical challenge and um, other things are sometimes you have unwanted psychic abilities you for example don't want uh, like some sort of dreams that fulfill or and things like that this might happen um, and and it can be just too many options for you and you might not know which one to choose so that sort of like lots going on type of um psychically mentally lots of um illusions fantasies wishes uh, visions maybe creative ideas so that's all at now at, at this point or maybe yeah options at work where to work and you have invitation to go here here and there and you just cannot choose Okay, let's have a look at how do you, what do you think about all of this, what's happening right now, the strength, you might think of it as a challenge, some sort of challenge, you need to be strong, you need to um, be very 
patient i don't think it's especially pleasant for you what's happening and you might perceive it as pretty tough and that you need to be strong and things like that so therefore we have strength here um where does it come from where did it all start chariot well we have it can be a success in something it can be a, a, a move to some other place or city or job or, or something that uh, changed a lot in life and that moved about a lot therefore um, um, this could be the beginning of what's happening you know the chariot maybe over you buying a new car it happened maybe you going on a holiday it happened maybe with a, like for some people beginning of the war it happened um, so that sort of thing now what happened just a few weeks ago let's say in the past what just happened five of wands well we have again can be inner indecisions and stress like always that energy of stress inside or it can be literally uh, witnessing lots of conflicts around you uh, lots of noise lots of you know busyness around you or it can be that you literally um you had a very uh, emotional discussion with people or just were in a physical fight for example with people so it's like lots of stress but this card usually says that you must have been you must have won it you must have won that place of you know or that you feel like a winner now but your vision might be not realistic or something like that now what will happen in the future most likely we have the high priestess often this card is like a, this card is like a secret the cards are not telling you what will happen in the future it's hidden uh sometimes it can represent also what your back you know there's something happening behind your back um something you don't know something that is unexpected uh secret enemies are somewhere hiding uh for some one this card can indicate some sort of education books you know or magic or cult so it can indicate you um being into books a lot and studying a lot or it can indicate you doing occult stuff a lot to cards you know maybe visiting psychologists going to psychotherapy you know things like that and um this can be the card and for some people just secrecy and uh, kind of something is there that you don't know okay and let's see how do you see yourself in this situation how do you view your own self the empress um so empress is like you might view yourself as um very loyal very kind of patriotic if it's something to do with wars uh it could be that you view yourself as very homely like um wife or like a woman um of the house it can be the lover of nature and animals the lover of home and you know making pickles and you know all those things so it can be that sort of situation can be viewing yourself as very pretty and healthy and like embodiment of womanhood and femininity and um if you're a male well it can be still that you feel like a woman or like you're very attached to your mother or home or something like that so uh we have that sort of situation now let's have a look at how do other people see you most likely people around you are close to you ten of swords well other people see you as as you uh, 
people might see as you left something, you've done something, you, you don't, you're not there anymore. Uh, it can be for some people that you're very tired, that let's say you quit your job or you quit something or you just graduate or finish something off and you're done with something. So there was some sort of like completion, how, you know, they view you. Like you're exhausted, you've done it. It can be paying off the debt. It can be finishing off the job. It can be uh, being absent from people in general. So the see you as you're not there, you know. So it can be closest people see like you're gone from their lives. So that sort of situation. Or maybe you're very... Maybe you're defeated, they might be seeing you, or surrendered, or given up, or something. Okay. <clears throat> uh, now, hopes and fears for your situation. Two of Cups. Well, you might just hope for some sort of friendship, and having friends... And um, so being surrounded by love, doing what you love, you know, it's very important for you that you would have someone to be with, for example. Maybe the same friends or family members or your partner or even the job you do. It's very important that you love it, you know, there is this element. Now, the outcome, what's most likely the outcome here? Okay, four of wands is a very good card. We have uh, <clears throat> everything ends very well. Everything ends in some party, with some party. There is some sort of meeting friends, you know, maybe a marriage for some people, having a, some sort of celebration, having uh, maybe an opening of business, having a new flat or house, you know. Um, and it's just a happy card and a happy place to be with, with the people you love. And I think whatever you want, this two of cups is here, no? Like people important. So I think it'll end up that you will be together and everything will end fine. And if you're asking about some sort of job even, or if you're on to something... Uh, there will be success in that. There will be some sort of like an opening or a success yeah, in that job or something. So yeah, future cards, high priestess and two of cups. Maybe you'll have people, friends and people who think the same in the area of what you do, you know. Maybe that secrecy will turn out to be something pleasant you know, sort of like someone's loving you behind your back and someone supporting you. And Five of Wands may turn out to be like a healthy sport, a dance or football for some people. So, yeah. Let's have a look at your home in particular, your money, your love, and your health. So let's have a look at your family and home again. Seven of Wands, a bit of a like a fighty card, like fighting, hermit and hierophant. Well, it can be that your family and home slightly irritate you. There, there is something that you need to stand up for yourself often. With a hermit, it can be represent all the people, uh, elderly in your home that are very traditional. And at the same time, you might want to distance yourself from these people at some point because you don't have the same opinions on things and it gets irritated. So... It can say, or it's just can represent the fact that uh, you live with all the people, you know, like your parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties, or whatever, and these people uh, might be a bit like they themselves are irritated with you, and they might say things. So it's always that 
tradition, clash, clash of cultures and traditions type of thing, age gap and generation gap, you know, that, that sort of issue. So it might be a bit like that. Now looking at your love life this month, we have the Emperor, the Wheel of Fortune, and Nine of Cups, some sort of big surprise will happen. Maybe someone will love you. Surprise. Again, Wheel of Fortune is like a surprise element. You know, like someone will secretly love you. And uh, uh, maybe someone will be nice to you. Um, and, uh, you know, this card seems to be like a male will be nice to you. And oh, there will be some pleasant experiences, let's say, uh, that will make you very happy. So look for those um, wheels of fortune opening up opportunities or just unexpectedly nice month for if you're in a relationship with someone. Okay, work and money. Here we have the star, page of wands and nine of wands. Okay, we have... Uh, a little bit of a struggle when it comes to work and career. Mm, we have a lack of, let's say, confidence slightly. Um, like the sense maybe your work is to do with technology, internet, or tarot sometimes. And um, whatever the work it is, it can be even police, a turn the police. And either you're like a rookie or a beginner, or there's a sense of that I'm just beginning. I'm not that good in this. I'm not professional yet. And because of that, you feel like you have to uh, really be on guard and really struggle, like really put some effort, a lot of effort, and really stand up for yourself and really learn and uh, maybe research and still, uh, it's not easy, it's still growing. It's still challenges everywhere, and but you know, it's because uh, your level of knowledge in that area either is still like on the beginning level, or you feel like it's in a beginning level. So maybe it's the lack of experience, maybe it's the lack of exposure, maybe it's the lack of something else. Maybe you're young, for example and um so that sort of situation okay and your health this month let's have a look the full well I feel like it's something with lungs king of pentacles king of swords it's like your freedom is um being stopped by some serious men by serious things uh, something like as if something doesn't let you breathe properly something it can be for some people with legs issues like pain in the knee or ankle you know something stiffing you some stiffness is there so let's have a look what's the solution and the king of cups so we have it can be too big weight you know physical weight perhaps like a, or uncomfortable clothes or something uncomfortable shoes you know things like that so and actually visually you see this king of cups putting his feet in in the river in the water like as if um to uh, to relax the feet or have a foot massage or just put your feet in, in some water and have a like pedicure a very good one or put your feet in a water a good wa hot water with salt um, and soak them real well you know uh, so it it just and he's so happy and relaxed and um, so some sort of like free yourself from some sort of limitation and uh, let's see and weight and uncomfortable clothes and, and things like that so yeah this was our reading let's just have one more advice for the whole month what's the advice for the whole month four of cups you know for me it's slow down 
it's meditate it's just uh, relax and be with yourself but don't let yourself overthink you know don't let yourself to overthink too much about things and you know because sometimes when we start thinking it goes very far away and it's not it doesn't seem to help let's see you start getting worse and worse and worse the more you think the worse it gets so you can have a meditation like under the tree or something um relax and breathe um you know slow down as they say and um sometimes say no to things as well refuse certain things you don't have to rush into every opportunity also so it's just that sort of of enough feeling you know the things will come that have to come so this was our reading number two our reading number three will be next so let's let's start our reading number three i hope this was helpful for you I hope you got some insight into your life. And we have our deck number three. Illuminati Tarot, I guess that's called. So we're having a Celtic cross reading about your life, about your energy, what's happening right now, just in case you want to look into <clears throat> this. So current situation, current situation. For once, it's, it shows a very good situation, maybe having a great family life, um, spending great time with children, with your partner, maybe just having a party having have had a party uh, a, a marriage maybe attending a marriage or being yourself in a marriage or thinking about marriage that sort of thing um, perhaps meeting people whatever that is usually this card signifies this um, you know being happy being happy about Achieve, something that you've achieved being happy about it a party or a function that just happened so that sort of situation and it's a harmony and happiness of course um, some sort of completion maybe um, we have these cards coming out so some sort of um, something is uh, going smoothly whatever you want it to go smoothly let's say and some sort of winnings achievements and creative fields most likely some sort of a uh, mental field technological field can be education you know it can be um, also great feedback from people about a certain thing so it's overall something great Now, what is the biggest challenge for you right now? The tower. Well, we have... Uh, with the tower, it can be actually... Well, things are not as you thought. Things have to change. Something has to change and um, something has to break in order for the new things to start. So maybe also uh, this happiness brought some sort of change that is slightly uh, like challenging or can be two things good and bad happening at the same time for example you're getting married but there is also another problem so with the tower we might have various things from just disappointments to wars to prisons to you know construction to anything like that it can be bought a new house, but it requires a serious construction and renovation. So it can be like a headache. So that sort of situation. What do you think about all that's happening right now? Again, you think that it's pretty tough and you need to be really patient and strong right now. You cannot like relax 
because uh, everything will fall to pieces or you will fall to pieces so you need to be really really patient and wise what when where does everything come from well ten of wands is some sort of like hard work and uh suffering and this blood on the wall i guess the red color on the wall just attracted my attention anyway um lots of hard times recently some sort of like lots of work working very long studying very long you know that sort of like drag uh, lots of efforts being put, lots of hard work being put, so it's all about that. What just happened in the past, Prince of Pentacles, we can have some income, or oh, that happened just in the past, oh, no. a person coming into your life, some news coming into your life, you know, uh, about things, it can be just a nice like check or something, will happen in the future well six of swords is it can be a literal trip or it can be for example um leaving something behind moving away from the problems let's say from this problem moving away or proceeding with an idea proceeding with a certain idea um so let's have a look where does it lead to this trip this procession this moving movement how do you see yourself at the moment how do you see yourself in this context ten of cups you're happy uh, you can see yourself as a part of a family part of a community again repeating happy marriage cards you're seeing yourself as happily married and like a wife, a husband, someone, the home, like you're in the home, you know, maybe it's a country, you see yourself as living in a certain place. Basically, you see yourself as happily married or happily achieved somewhere. How do others see you right now? Four of Pentacles. When this car comes up, probably people might see you as you have a decent life financially decent stability but they might see us a bit boring and fearful when it comes to doing adventurous things or doing anything so you might always seem to people like someone who says no often who's afraid of things who is afraid to spend money who's afraid to spend time with other people like invest time who's afraid to even open up emotionally so you might come up as a bit of a stiff person um, who has who's afraid let's say to move from their place from their comfort zone or from their secure zone or secure place or or that sort of thing um, your hopes and fears at the moment your hopes and fears we have the star well you have lots of hopes right now i would say uh, you might have a particular idea that you want to fulfill you might have a particular vision of what you want to do this can be to do with your talents um, some sort of intellectual talents education thoughts uh, you know and plans this could be to become someone and this could be also related to the internet like achieve something on the internet like have a website or or something like that it can be even a spiritual hope uh, you know to learn something or experience some sort of enlightenment and the outcome for this month we have the three of swords so this card usually indicates um, maybe a, a slight disappointment in plans, a, a slight argument with someone, um, disagreement with a partner, or mm, when, for example, like a wish doesn't fulfill. So that sort of situation we have, the Three of Swords. So... Hmm.
so we let's say this card represents loss now that loss um, could be related to this either movement and that hope that you will get after doing something or movement physical movement or it can be um, like an initiative like a plan to do something and let's see this plan and hope doesn't fulfill it can be that like what ha what you wanted will not happen or something like will disappoint you slightly or a third party will mingle and because of that it will not be possible let's say to do something okay so let's have a look now at the advice what's the advice for you this month man of pentacles uh, this card talks about being sufficient and happy with whatever you have it's uh, on focusing uh, on the things that you have and thinking of yourself as a victorious person who doesn't need anything let's say you have the perfect place to live you have money you have everything you're dressed you have clothes you have food you have things you know so it's somehow to change your perspective from the victim's perspective or as someone who lacks into appreciative perspective where you focus on the plenty that you have rather than what you don't have yeah so it says just either imagine that you are there or if you're there just look for the reasons to appreciate and basically you're fine yeah you're the winner you're the cool one you you have everything you're just on that horse with lots of money and um, even if you're sometimes alone you're still good your situation is good so let's have a look at your family quickly your family okay we have the queen of pentacles can represent you uh, okay the world um death so first of all it can represent uh, when we're talking about family someone far away a family member being far away uh you being somewhere else not in your hometown not in your home place it can also represent a family member that has passed away and somehow they're important here maybe they want to send a message or they just passed away or something like that um for some people of course not all and uh, for some people can represent some sort of big travel big change because we have here big travel and we have here some sort of big travel like moving abroad or some sort of like separation from the extended family that sort of thing like very transformative very difficult very dramatic some sort of situation here Let's have a look now at your uh, love life, your love and relationships. So, um, so we have uh, funny cards. We have as if uh, a little bit of a doubt when it comes to love and relationships. Like there is a family, but there there is a little bit of a doubt going with that family. It can be that you're just busy with your family and you're just just that's all you know when i'm talking about family it can be more people than just your partner it can kids dogs parents uncles aunties grandparents you know whatnot neighbors so it can be your family life is basically your love life is your family life and it's your home life is so busy it doesn't give you any time to think about love romance whatever you're just busy running errands and doing chores and you just like hardly can keep up with everything but for some people also for me it's coming the thought about um like a cheating or i would say uh, a doubt when it comes to family maybe that things are not very well 100 percent in the family uh sometimes maybe there are issues and therefore you might uh you know you might maybe like someone outside the family or something so in this case it can be that sort of situation two versions here and of course there might be more versions 
that I'm not seeing here. Some sort of duality for some people, and for some people just so busy, there's no time for anything else. Just work. Okay, now money and career in March. Okay, so we have uh, perhaps a okay sadness going when it comes to this work and career. We have uh, knowledge, we have respect for you. Maybe you're very well educated. Uh, it can be um, you have uh, worked or you're working or like many you have followers and people out there like a community with you. So maybe that's what I'm saying. Maybe you worked or working. Uh, but either you don't really like it or there's other thoughts that are going. There's some sort of disappointment and sadness about it. Like missed opportunity, you know, like missed um, some sort of like you cannot do it. You can, your opportunity is there, but you cannot take it. And although you're very intelligent, there's something's bothering you. What's bothering you? Two of Cups relationship. Something positive is bothering you and that might talk about the uh, relationship between the balance uh, between career and love or people, you know, or family. What's the advice? Prince of Wands. Just do what you want to do. Um, you work. You work. The advice is work. Don't sacrifice anything, take opportunities and work. If you have ideas and energy, you should uh, express that. And the last thing is your health in March. Okay, Hermit can indicate a bit of a um, like rusty health, rusty body. Like it can be some people like senility. Can like if you're like 40 or 50 or more you can start kicking kicking in you know those like um a bit more stiffness a bit more joints are hurting muscles bones everything is hurting it can be you know as they called maybe senility because hermit is old and this card is not super good for health so i think it could talk about something is going on not like super energy a bit of um maybe stiffness four of swords yeah um okay so these cards are not too perfect as you can see uh, these cards can indicate either having a lot of bed rest or being super tired being in bed a lot and nine of swords also for some people being in pain and not being able to sleep and for some people just being quite worried about health and for some people also my talk having a health issue so what is advice when it comes for health? Um, yeah, it can actually, uh, I shouldn't do reading about health because I'm not uh, like a doctor or it's not even my favorite subject. But uh, with lovers, we might have an organ that you might look into, which is a double organ, like lungs or um hands or feet or eyes you know double organ uh, that comes in a, in a pair so maybe there's something to do with that also um, it can talk about getting some support from people you love and these cards might talk um, also getting support from uh, children and pets and family being in nature and g giving yourself as least stress as possible um, and I cannot really explain what what else is happening here but um, you know with the Empress it can be also some sort of herbal remedies and uh, Treatments like homopathy, Ayurveda, you know, any other type of Chinese traditional medicine, maybe your traditional medicine. It can be talking also about these things, being in nature, eating natural foods, um, something very like e drinking herbal teas, you know, things like that. 
it can be that you know about it but you're denying it to yourself like you don't want to do anything about it about your health uh, you know so that sort of situation is here so this was our reading number three now let's move on to our reading number four This is our deck number four. We're reading about your life now in March, month of March. We're doing a Celtic cross spread, and this is our Yukio Tarot. So, your current energy situation, your thoughts, Seven of Wands and temperance came out falling so these cards are uh, they uh, again talk about a little bit of uh, stress and work and you know things like that and the need to um, to balance it out so i think right now you're trying to achieve peace and slow down uh, regarding any relationship things and regarding your like sp uh, how fast your life is you know this card can indicate a bit of a like like fight and flight type of um response to the events and the temperances you know understanding it and trying to balance it out so consciousness i think you're conscious of your life and what's happening what is the challenge again the tower card came out again the tower as a challenge came everything is changing things are falling apart nothing is like you thought was happening before and it can be um, for some people even natural disasters maybe what happened in turkey uh what's happening in the world you know, it can be these things, you know, affecting and these things happening, <clears throat> you know. So, a challenge can be a huge natural disaster, a war. It can be some inner transformation. It can be some situations in life, like change of jobs, change of relationships. So, that sort of situation. Um, and construction, of course, in some cases. So, what... Uh, what do you think about all this? What do you think about all that's happening? We have Seven of Cups. Well, with this card, we have an element of maybe television, maybe a little bit of a, a kind of fantasy, a little bit of a creative interpretation of events, you know. And um, let's say not like kind of dissociating from the present dissociating from the events that are happening i think you're trying uh maybe um, you know maybe these events are not even real in a way that maybe that's something what's happening in your mind which is real of course but you're trying either to solve it maybe with art or movies or watching these things and um, like you're watching them through the screen somewhere and it shocks you let's see so that's why we have this card or if something's happening to you i think you're just thinking about it you're visualizing a lot you're choosing a lot where does it all come from these situations and all of those things the hierophant card it all comes from the past where it can be coming from family 
coming from some sort of traditional structures of thought. It can be coming from a religion. It can be coming from, you know, some sort of tradition. I think my head is tired right now. Okay, so let's say it's coming from some power. Uh, someone maybe who did it, who started it. It's someone in power. And I'm leaving a question mark to this card. We'll look at other cards and then maybe we will understand what, what what's happening here. Okay, what just happened? The past events, the full... Well, it can represent you doing some sort of new uh, thing in your life, starting a new thing, a new job, new some sort of move, you know, that maybe is a part of why there's a little bit of stress or something, there's a little bit of um, trying to heal from it, you know, and... And things like that and let's see it might be the tower talks about well I'll still leave it at this can be related to children you know to animals so let's just move on to the future what will happen to the future here the world was well, some sort of success it can be that a success will happen Whatever you wanted, you will achieve, and another meaning. It can indicate some sort of travel or movement. So, what do you think about yourself in this situation? How do you view yourself like successful, non-successful? The High Priestess can look at yourself as someone mysterious who is having a secret. You can look at yourself as... Um, doing things secretly you can look at yourself as the psychologist the tarot reader the teacher type of woman with a book or a man with a book and um, that sort of situation of course you're intelligent and uh, wise and that sort of thing if you're trying to get pregnant you might see yourself as unable to get pregnant so let's move on to how other people view you three of wands i think the viewers very also uh, like you have dreams like you have passions you have plans and you're you want to do things like you're very excited about things and you know you're waiting for the these things to happen it can be very enterprising person like very good with in a team and with other people and usually someone who's very motivated career-wise and in life you know who's waiting to live and do things hopes and fears what are hopes and fears here the nine of swords well it can be um, different thoughts are coming here so some of that can be hopes and fears um you're afraid of stress you're afraid of pain you're afraid of uh, anything unpleasant and some for some people can be some sort of surgical procedure uh, that you're afraid of um, you know um, if it's to do with I'm getting this I don't know if I should say it but for some people pregnancy um, unnatural pregnancy how to put it so maybe it's that And, out, and the outcome in this situation is four of coins. Again, like in the previous deck, four of coins is a good card. It shows that the thing is achieved, that everything is done, that you got what you wanted, and it's all pretty great. And not super crazy great, but a normal great. So that sort of situation. Now... What is advice for you for March? Strength, be strong. 
I would say be strong and be patient and maybe there'll, there'll be some things that are not to your taste pretty challenging and I think it's important to be strong and just wait a bit like that sort of thing like just wait a bit for a few weeks for maybe this is a time where let's say you have to do things that you don't want to do or unpleasant to you but you have to go through this yeah and you will but you just have to put your thoughts and strength together in that and prepare for it mentally morally now let's have a look at uh, other things such as family your family queen of cups six of coin ace of cups so we have a very generous loving person in your family this can be you this can be your mother sister daughter mom uh, i mentioned mom grandmother anyone so it's the person who will give you everything and um would cook for you and the person is very gentle and loving and they express that love they might express it through helping financially they might express it through cooking they might express it through dressing you they might express it through cleaning they might express through giving a lot to you like talking to you giving a lot of time and basically so we have a very loving cops person in your home now let's have a look at your love in march three of cups five of cups and empress lots of number three cards so we might have um It, for some people it can be a marriage like you're married you have a family and um, maybe there was someone like maybe you had someone uh, let's see you might be divorced but how to put it you have a home you have a family but you're not with a partner but let's say you were with someone who had a partner who was let's say married but you were with them but it didn't work out or something so it might be that sort of like a wave it was three people then there was tears and now there is you know again three but more like a home and mother and family that sort of thing so for some people it can be that for some people it can be having a family but not having friends and that's the reason of sadness love judgment again the card of threes is there and ten of swords it's like family of three again three people it's like happiness but somehow ten of swords is here too Fa happiness and sadness family of three and then separation and someone else is there so someone else is kind of close um family is very close someone else is close right together with your partner and we have lovers and it goes perhaps you are married with someone but um maybe there was someone else too that uh, was there and there was some sadness about the person it can be f in the past but family is also there and it's a happy family so yeah only you will know the details now let's have a look at career and money career and money this month okay so we have a little bit of money um uh, money might be there 
but you still might feel that it's too less like below average or average that sort of thing just enough you know just enough but not enough to be proud and boast about you know to people so so but you are very intelligent and educated and you have a lot of wish to work and earn and there is lots of um ideas and intelligence and you know enthusiasm like i want to do this and i want to do that and i want to do this you know that sort of um and i can do this and that and you're very intelligent so it might be like you're doing a job that's paying too less for your talents and for what you want you know that sort of feeling advice it's just for some reason to have a rest and um have a rest from job and um, you know the issue of commitment being there maybe it's not the time to work right now maybe it's time to have a rest or something anyway um maybe you had just a baby or or you know something like that so it says have don't work right now let's have a look at your health the chariot the hangman and the hermit again like there is a problem with movement uh, there's a problem with uh, let's say some sort of like um, not being free to move and being chained up I don't know so maybe again it's like you're in a wheelchair or somehow it's hard to move or it's hard to walk or you walk slowly or you're you know or you're pregnant or you're older that sort of situation okay so what is the advice for health wheel of fortune and wheels wheelchair wheel um so something like a doctor advice should be there and maybe some sort of like yeah doctor would know but i guess this can be some minor surgery or something to uh, for the movement or injection or something like that so i will not go into that i'm not expert in in the health i just wanted to look in in general you know the the vibe and in this case i would say it's important to take care of it and give more attention to it and like in every other choice we did everyone has something going on with their health so thank you for watching this video i hope that was somewhat helpful for you and i hope to see you again soon bye bye